I might have I might have hurt some feelings in the last episode. Mm-hmm. Yes. I know that Joshua Wyatt's motivation is to look at the final and see his shut own. Shut up! Head. Don't I, I shut know, up! I know. I, shut I know. Up, no. Shut he, up! He's gonna have three it's, of it's his picks. There. It's been back there. Three that, of his picks on the final at the end of how this. How dare you bring this up now? What? Right, I I'm at the <laughs> cusp of victory. Joseph, I know that. Ice cream make a truck living. is the most perverse thing on this planet. Maybe wow. not on this planet. Yeah. Wow. But it's definitely top 20. Why? It was like, where the heck did you get pizza? And I'm like, I don't know. It's been in the fridge for a while. Luke falls in the pit and Darth Vader uses the force to hit the switch. And oh. goes, all too easy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his so sass. I'm like, all right. <laughs> There's a lot a of good stank moments. on that. <laughs> Dude, I can't take it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Wacky Wonderful Wise Works podcast. We're here for all you guys, gals, geeks, and goofballs for this episode. Episode 229. 229. Almost. 230. 228. 228. Almost 230. No, 229 is what this one is. <laughs> you got to make up <laughs> It's yeah, 229. A decision here. <laughs> We're almost out of the two twos. Two two? We're not going to hit another two two for a while. What about doo doo? Doo doo. Doo doo. Two two. <laughs> Whew. How's your uh, week been, boys? <clears throat> Well, it's a holiday week. Yeah. It's a holiday so far, delicious. season. Holiday season. As of recording this, right before the Black Off Friday. And uh, I know it's going to affect me a little bit. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. I'll, I'll come back with some updates next week. Because yeah, you're working As of recording this, we have not done the Black Friday thing yet. You think that's going to be all right? I don't know how Black Friday is on in you know Lowe's. It's busy. Well, th- it's coming and out. This it's episode's busy. You're here coming out on a big city. Mm. <clears throat> this episode's coming out on Cyber Monday. Mm-hmm. Okay. So go get your cybers, your cyber, pr- your cyber deals. Yeah. Cybers. Go get your cyber deals. What, do you ever have you ever bought a lightsaber on cyber? <laughs> What? <laughs> I see what the you're trying to do. <laughs> have you ever bought a lightsaber? <laughs> like a on cyber Monday. You know, like a. Never mind. <laughs> I got you. I understand what you were going with. And May I, I appreciate the effort. All right, Joshua. Was there. The I, wanted, I wanted to save this for the podcast. Oh, no. I oh, wanted to. No, geez. no, no, no. We're here for you. We're here to talk about this in a safe space, in a safe area. We're concerned. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> this is not an intervention. Oh. I wanted to pay you a compliment. Is that okay? Oh, <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Josh instantly turns okay, into a Okay, yeah, well, fuel his ego. How's this intervention? <laughs> no, I, uh, we said yeah. 229 episodes ago Yeah. that if we just keep doing this, we'll get better. Yeah. And sometimes it seems like we're still working on it. Why are we? But I have been watching some of the very first stuff oh, we did. yeah. Woo, you're terrible on those. <laughs> I held so, the conversation hardcore. All you did was sit there and go like. <laughs> so we, we got this, uh, this giveaway for our movie, Dying of the Leaves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, no, it's terrible. But yeah. I'm saying I'm yeah, paying yeah. you a compliment of today. <clears throat> you are much better. It's because, I, I, you know, I wake up every morning. I give myself a shot of um, encouragement. It, yeah, I was going to say confidence, but encouragement. Okay. Confidence. Yeah, I think confidence works better. So you stick it right where the heroin needle goes? What yeah, kind yeah, of a- yeah, yeah. That's how you inject needles. <laughs> that's where the heroin goes. Well, that's where the IV goes a lot of times. That's it? where just needles go in general, my guy. <laughs> okay, so you're putting yourself a dose of confidence yeah, yeah. each morning, and it's, yeah, yeah. it's compounded. I have, I have that with the side of waffles and eggs and bacon. I see. Every no, morning. you don't. Every morning. I'd be able to smell it. No, no, I go out and buy my Uh-huh, waffle. okay, yeah. No, <laughs> when I, I was a lad, I, I ate five dozen eggs. I could not tell you last time I had waffles. I do eat eggs a lot. Every morning and I don't eat bacon. And get either. large. I like now it. that I'm growing, I, like I eat ten, ten dozen, dozen eggs. And so I'm roughly the size of a barge. 
Now no one's quick as Gaston. No one's slick as we Gaston. We got names downstairs. Maybe no down. one's <laughs> neck is incredibly thick as Gaston. <laughs> We're getting copyright. We're getting copyright strike. We by don't Disney sing good enough to get copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> it's there's no way that algorithm is gonna, gonna find our pick vote. up. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. No, um, no, 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 I'm just kidding. Stop banging your feet. I get Ooh, excited when I start singing this. Disney. You guys want to jump into the first thing? Absolutely. 30 second stories? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let's get into it. Um, we're going to give a review. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, of uh, the first. Brief. A brief review. Brief review. I didn't of the first episode of again. Wheel of Time. All of our thoughts. We don't have a bunch of accompanying slides, so we need to hear our thoughts. So the first thing is, it was a little too clean. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's, okay, um, let's 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 address uh, our concerns. Well, at first. hold on. I I wanted to do good and pros and cons. Go Start for it. With pros, then go cons. Go, go for it. By something. Uh, pros. Pros. Um. Well, uh, well, I I was I was thinking we could each say a oh, pro. All right, here we go. Pro for me, the trollocks. Liked them, liked the way they looked. They looked awesome. They, they are amazing, super cool. I think I think I liked the way the Trollocs behaved themselves and looked mm -hmm. in this more than I even. This is, sounds like blasphemy, but the way they presented it with everything mm -hmm. was even more engaging than orcs in Lord of the Rings. I mean, this is how monsters should look. They look should at look cool. They should look scary. They should move in a in an unnatural way, which yeah. they do. Yeah, which they do. Uh, give us a pro, Josh. Pro. My pro is there's a confident female character with a, a with a manservant. <laughs> 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 Josh was down for that man bondage. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my not pro. My, that's Go not ahead. my pro. Right, say that's your pro. pro. I was joking about say your pro. that. We got. <laughs> she. Um. It, can I give can us a pro. pro? Just be. It wasn't as clean as I thought. Okay. Uh, can I just say that because I yeah. think that was my biggest. Okay, so you were concern. worried it was going to feel like costumes yes, like which, people bathe themselves and then they get in their costumes it and did act. a little bit but mm -hmm. i would say the pro was that it wasn't it was really as bad, bad as i thought okay. So, yeah. okay so it felt dirtier it felt more grungy it felt more like a true story yeah, yeah. we'll of real see life. we'll see more the longer we get along <laughs> yeah with it. i was worried about we're not worried to care what you worried about no, it's a pro i'm telling you this was contradicted the landscapes Beautiful. amazing very the, the locations, Very the town, the <clears throat> mountains, the I mean everything. It's not just, as good as New Zealand. Just beautiful. Right? Yeah. Lord of the Rings, New Zealand. Um, not as good as that. Well, I think a lot of it was uh, was New Zealand. May no, I, was, I, was I must here in the United States. No, was in CG. Virginia. Oh, okay. CG, and it looked yeah. really good. I, I also need to say this though. Um, I was really worried that the whole film was going to have this very soft lighting and not very dynamic lighting. Mm -hmm. And I did kind of experience that outside a little bit, but at the night during the Trolloc rampage, Trolloc. and then also when they were having those long conversations in the bar, the lighting coming through the windows, the motivated lighting, it's just yeah, very good. <clears throat> the lighting the lighting did not disappoint, which I was worried it would. I, wor I was worried it would be too simple. Yeah. Um Another pro for me was something that wasn't in the books, but some of the character development that they have for Perrin specifically mm -hmm. and and a specific action that he takes in the heat of battle. Are you trying not to give it away? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be non but we're, we're not doing spoilers on this super yeah, much. Um, oh, we're not doing spoilers? Well, trying try to avoid spoilers. Spoil 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 it, it, the big ones. It's just the first episode, but... The big spoilers. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I like that. That wasn't something that was in the book. And when we get into cons, we'll talk about more of what's not in the books that's in here. Joshua, um, another pro. You have any no. more pros? That's it. <laughs> no, more, no more pros. Um, I, I kind of big backpacking off mm. of your whole um Trolloc thing. How good they looked. Um, I just think all around the villains in this story are scary. They yeah. are creepy, not they just look, the Trollocs. Yeah, they look scary. But also, who? 
I I'm, I've only I forget seen the first I forget one. what they he was the, called the main villain the guy on the horse Smeagol with the you know. no eyes with the face he had like those those <laughs> lips mm -hmm. that are just kind of eerie but make, give him like authority I, it's just a very good design I'm interested well, to see donkey more lip, of him donkey lip in it he kind of a little bit little donkey lip in it just a little bit of donkey that donkey lip um what how, how would you do it just kind of like a I'm I'm interested to see when he opens his mouth. Yeah, uh, I, saw on the trailer. I I guess sort of my last pro. Um, everything looked cool. Mm -hmm. The town looked cool. the The landscapes looked cool. The the everything looked really good. I really liked how everything fit together. It all worked together. Um. Uh. Are we doing cons now? And now getting into cons, you got a con? Give us a con. con. Joshua always has cons. He's got a huge yeah. list of cons, <clears throat> always. Yeah, but. So I think Prime, Amazon Prime has is a con. They've gone, they've taken a step back since their last, um, I don't know if it's their last thing. I don't want to say that. But since the last thing I've seen that mm. was an original you know yeah, um tomorrow war the tomorrow war was was better than this and mm. this was a step back from the tomorrow <laughs> war i would <laughs> i would Why say that i would say guy? they're kind of on I'm par not. that's a um it's a nervous laugh you got a con <laughs> yeah um a con i would have is and apparently this is about the story as a whole mm. i am a new b to this world i will become a fan um i don't I will become a fan, okay. and I'm saying I'm a newbie. So I'm. I understand. <clears throat> people that already know the show already know this. I don't like how much of a ripoff it is from other stories. I, yeah, like Lord of the Rings, like Dune. I know this is. Never mind. I, I'm going to get distracted with something else. I don't want to get into that. Um, I understand it becomes its own later. That's why it was communicating. My con. I think I want to say first. The first thing I noticed was uh, the from the very beginning exposition dump. Oh yeah, oh yeah, exposition yeah. dump, huge exposition dump. This isn't with the, nothing interesting it's to accompany. No, yeah, and it's not the way the book started. Mm -hmm. The book uh, and and I've I've listened in the book to all of this part that we saw in mm -hmm. in this episode, um, and it it was not exposition. No, and and. Going a little bit further, Moraine, the uh, Rosamund Pike's mm -hmm. character, she didn't say things. She didn't tell people things. She kept everything a secret. Nobody knew if they could trust her. But she goes into the town. She's like, you four uh, want to use potentially the dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, that's It's a little bit spoilery, but... It's the know, first episode. It's the first episode. Uh, and it, there's no, like illusion they're just like all right we'll go with you that's true that was odd that was odd for the writing they're just mm -hmm. like and we're off yeah the dragon know? in game of thrones isn't that a thing in game of thrones the dragon yeah no uh, i mean what's his face denarius's brother calls himself i am the dragon because he's a Targaryen. well that's the the drag the targaryens yeah. the targaryens are, are dragons they go by a title yeah, yeah. of the yeah. dragon but that's not like the dragon thing. in this is the the one who will um, bring many, a, bring many, about peace, but also with him comes tons and tons of like war and death. Is, isn't that Game of Thrones? No, oh, no. no this was before like Game of Thrones. Azor yeah. yeah, this was before Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones um, is written after. Go ahead, Joshua. How many books did you get into it? How many? Did you... I I didn't even get through the first one. Oh, you didn't even read no. the first book, so no. you're a poser. No, I, I mean, Come I've on, seen, you're a poser. I've seen I this read much. Any of it. I I've, read I've, any of I've, it. I've, I've experienced everything. What was here. Everything that he, that we saw so far, he's read. Yeah. Um. I mean, if we keep doing the cons in a circle, it's going to take a long time. All right. <laughs> okay, let's, let, let's say this. Let's just out of how much you enjoyed it to how much you did not enjoy it. Just what's the first the, episode, the one to ten. What's the scale? Just the first episode, one to ten. Three. Um. For not knowing anything about the story yet, I'd say five for me. I would say six. I really yeah, yeah. Enjoyed I, I enjoyed it for what three. it was. 
Okay, this this is this is actually a theme that I'm seeing. A lot of people that are fans of Wheel of Time are not really happy with this. It deviates. So it deviates so much from the book. I, I would think be okay. The mild people are liking it though. That's and that's fine. And but I would be okay with the the bad graphics that were in the show that we mm-hmm. saw with some of the magic, the way she was twirling magic around. She didn't do that in the books. I'd be okay with the differences in story. Uh, you know, uh, between characters, which never happened in the books. Um, and I'd be okay with that probably if I hadn't read the books. Yeah. Um, or if the, I don't know if I feel like one element would have to be better, but I don't know if it's, if it's like costume, if it's acting, do you you have writing, writing, if it, the writing was better. You have enough to five worded or less. Or no, you don't want to do. Let's that. do that for the whole show. Once we're done with the show, I mean, what what are we gonna say? I I hope it slows down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe that's a good one. Um, maybe stronger slow it down. female lead. Slow role. down what they're trying to communicate good. to us. I don't. Well, I mean, that was the thing though with mm. Wheel of Time was the the. It was it was in the books. It was a diverse cast. Yeah, there were men and women in equal with equal and amounts animals. of power. No animals. Well, what are well the, actually you know wolves. What? wolves. 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 Um, yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna spoil. Wait, I'm not gonna like spoil Game that. No, no, no. There's no wargs Trollocs. or anything. Trollocs. No, 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 no. One of the characters is is a uh, what's called a wolf brother, and can communicate wolf with wolf brother. Yeah, wolf brother <laughs> and can communicate with wolf. No, he can't go Thrones? into wolves and become them. Oh. He he just communicates with them. It, it seems like we're I I genuinely was making a joke at the beginning, but the, this and Game of Thrones has so much similarity. That's weird. Uh, this this is what I was. This was my with con. The it it has a similarities with a lot of stuff. I know this came before Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones was. Better. You have seen one episode. People are going to hate you so hard You've for also, saying You also it. haven't okay. read any of the I books. I want to take that back. Okay. <laughs> have you I, read yes. any Game of I've Thrones books? I've seen one episode. Let me walk. Let me I've get read the through first a few couple chapters seasons. of Thrones. No, what, I, wanted to, I actually wanted first. to go yeah. a little bit off of what you were saying earlier of taking a step back. Because... I can feel um, the hate already. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I, no th- I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> Jeez. No, no, Chill. no. From the audience. I don't care if they hate you. you uh, oh, can, you yeah. Can be hated. Okay, yeah. I'm taking um, what I said back. I've only watched one episode. I don't know enough yet. I I feel like it was a step back from the sort of high fantasy series that I've seen, Carnival Row, which was excellent. Carnival Row was wonderful. Yeah. Uh, and this sort of jumps back a little bit from that for me carnival think, row is really good uh, we're just doing this as an opener i don't know if we should probably cut it off because we could talk yeah about this yeah we could um, talk about this forever we'll see how the show progresses we're gonna keep watching it yeah absolutely but that's just sort of what what kind of our thoughts on the first <clears throat> episode take it with a grain of salt take it with a grain yeah oh. for all you haters out why why has it gotta be a grain of salt why can't it be a grain of grain it is what it is <laughs> I don't. I don't know how to respond to that. A grain honestly, of grain. Uh, just, just one single grain. Yeah. Uh, let's move on. We are here to finish something that we started mm. the beginning of this season back in August, and we're here to do. I mean, throw up our dukes and get after it. Oh, we got to no. finish what we started, gentlemen. Four episodes. Well, this is our fourth episode in on this topic. Can I, this lady, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, can <laughs> I gentlemen. please like go ahead? Uh, just say before we get into this, mm. before while we are introducing characters that we've ch- chosen, oh, there will no. be no criticism. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Joshua, you got to no, no, hold no. your tongue. No, uh, of each other's characters as we are presenting what we chose. I think overall, we wait we like... till the very end to rip each other's throats <laughs> I think oh, no. I think overall we like everyone's picks oh yeah no I, I think they're all I think they're all worthwhile picks yeah so um, we're just gonna keep it civil at the beginning okay. while we're presenting if you don't know what we're talking about we started with we're gonna pick the best sci-fi character montage mm. we started I think with the best ship yeah. then we went to the best weapon mm. then we did the best Outfit. Do we have a slide at the end with all this stuff on? Uh, we have a Photoshop I'll be opening. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, now we're here to finish it off before we get into the Christmas season, which we already are in it, but before uh, we get deep into uh, it. Because next week we actually are pulling out the, the Christmas stuff. And I'm, you know, so when we pick this character and we put all of the the ship, the outfit, the weapon on them, 
I'm going to try to draw them. Good. Show it next week? Yeah. Heck yeah. I'm going to try to draw them. Maybe we'll post it on Instagram. We'll see. Oh, definitely. If you draw, we'll put it on Instagram. But um, we're basically, uh, like Wyatt said, we're combining it all. Yeah. So we have best ship, executor class destroyer, superstar yeah. destroyer. Crazy ship to pick right off the bat. <laughs> yeah. Crazy it's, ship. It's insane. It's Darth Vader ship. Um, the biggin. <laughs> the biggin. <laughs> um, and then the best weapon, we chose Yondu's arrow. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh. It's a good one. And then Joshua, what did we pick for the best outfit? You don't remember. Right. <laughs> it was Ryan Gosling, trench coat. Who? <laughs> did we look up his name? <laughs> we should no. stop calling it. Like, I, I need to look up his name. The but, character uh, from Blade Runner 2040 yeah. something. He, he had that cool trench coat with the, what is it called the on the inside? The with Sherpa the, with on the, the Sherpa. inside. Yeah. You're, you're it's, what, it's what uh, Tyler Joseph has been wearing at some of his, for some oh, of his really? songs. Oh, yeah, sick. we saw it on the live performance, oh. remember? No, I didn't. I didn't pay attention. You did, because you <laughs> said, what a jacket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I want one of those. What about, uh, uh, they sing Shy Away. We didn't pick that one. I already know we didn't. So never mind. <laughs> Josh is already tearing up. <laughs> <laughs> He's already tearing up. All right. So we're going to go ahead. We each pick three. Mm-hmm. I'll start. I'll introduce mine. Joshua goes next and then Wyatt. Okay. Um, not in any particular order. I just threw them in and we'll just go through them. So Wait, these. Wait, am I last again? No, you're second. Oh. Why am I? I'm, I'm always never first. I've made you first plenty. Of <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Josh, I always got to be a complainer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. So for my first pick, I picked Ellen Ripley. <sighs> Who? I, I can't see the one. picture. It's pretty dark. Ellen Ripley. She's from the movie Alien. Mm-hmm. I think she is. Uh, okay. And aliens. And aliens. All right. And aliens. She's a very. Um, <clears throat> no, she's not. In the, she's oh. a pivotal character, obviously, for those films. But mm-hmm. I think her character has a lot to offer. Yes, I, um, I, think I was going to pick her as well. Survival so. like crazy. Mm-hmm. She knows how to fight. She knows how to care for others, especially the vulnerable. Mm-hmm. We've seen so she's these, motherly. We've seen, she's motherly, but it's also- I think also, she'd be a good leader too. Yeah, well, she's like a mama bear. And I think if she was to lead a group of people, she would know her instincts are strong. Yeah. If it was a survival ship or even if it's just a exploration ship, her instincts, which she was an explorer. That's what. That's well, the point of no, the she, they were miners. Miners. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a worker. But she would, I think she has a lot to offer. If she were to have an executive class superstar destroyer, have a Yondu's arrow, she would know how to wield that ethically. She'd be able to kill so many aliens with that thing. So many. And she wouldn't have to work as hard, but we know her decision making would be correct yeah she's pretty good under pressure really good under pressure under pressure um my dun, next dun, character dun, dun, is dun, hear me out dun, 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 dun. out of every star <laughs> <Hear> me <laughs> out <laughs> out of every star wars character i decided to go with qui-gon jinn oh interesting the reason being is to follow the same pattern of ripley mm-hmm. he is fatherly he's level-headed self-sacrificing for the betterment of the cause and he has a comic i think anyone who's going to be a leader of an executor class destroyer who's going to have a weapon like yonder's air and who's going to be walking in that drip Mm -hmm. should be someone who respects others first and foremost Mm -hmm. okay um i'm going for the good guy on here here's one for the good guys (laughs) (laughs) um so I think out of all of the Star Wars characters, because you know you might have Yoda, but Yoda is too—he's too like forcey. Yeah, know? wizardy. Um, you have you have Obi Wan Kenobi, but he are, he does have his own troubles. Mm-hmm. I think he, he this is. has been the only example in Star Wars of just a good leader, a good. He's basically self sacrifice. Yeah, but what about Wedge Antilles? <laughs> what about Wedge? He rolls around in the background. No, Wedge Wedge, wedge rolls around in all the space fights. I There's know. There's not a space fight where Wedge isn't like, you if know. If I'm going to be honest. Red later. I didn't, th- <laughs> I didn't <laughs> think pew, of Wedge. Pew, pew. He's never saying, I'm going down. No, Wedge is never he's going never down. Saying, he's not. <laughs> he's always making it through. <laughs> wedge always makes it through. <laughs> wedge went into the Death Star. Yeah. I, I believe you know uh, Wedge Antilles. He's 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 maybe the best a great of us. maybe a, he's the best of us. <laughs> maybe a great pilot and a good soldier and yeah. a good father. 
Probably definitely a good father. Yeah. And not to mention. No, nah, he's a drinker. <laughs> <laughs> Both of these characters so far also have great combat skill. Okay. And great knowledge. They're educated. Mm-hmm. And to follow the exact same. We don't know pattern. Ripley's education. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was a minor. She was. If she was. If she was one of the um, crew that flew the vessel and everything. Yeah, she was yeah, second but, in command. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't know about the force. She had a lot of training. She knows. No, the force doesn't exist in her universe. Okay. <laughs> Look, now to follow the exact same pattern, I chose based on these principles I've already said. Okay. I'm going with Leto from Dune. Eve. Okay. Um, Leto. I, I don't know. I've heard it both ways. I don't like I saying Leto. Both ways. That it sounds both like Jared words. Leto. I understand, but I Leto sounds better. Ways. The name was created before he was alive, right? Yeah. I've heard it both ways. Leto, Leto, whatever you prefer. Um, he is follows the exact same pattern as what I've seen, what I've already got. He's mm-hmm. fatherly. He's level headed. He has good intentions. He's well educated. He's well combat trained. I mean, they even say that all the other lords in space like him rally to him exactly that's why he's a threat the good thing about him is he knows already how to run in an ethical way a kingdom Mm -hmm. which is kind of the skills you're going to need a planet a planet which is the skills you need to operate something as big as the executor class superstar we never talked about the crew well, we don't have to. We we already know I there think is based a Based on who we pick, we'll kind of determine, determine what the crew is determine gonna what like, kind of yeah. crew we're going to have. Um, those are so my three. So we're going to have picks. a bunch of spice lower spice people. No, like his, his. How his... dare you say the Atreides family? They're spice people. No, they're not. What else would you? They call were put them? on Dune, but they weren't like. They're not. It would be like it would be like his, like his house or like military stuff. Yeah. Definitely yeah. military stuff. The for whole him. like the emperor was afraid of the Atreides. We're not going to explain all of Dune no. in this video. We know uh, these uh, for these reasons. I have picked for almost one reason. Mm. Personally, I think Leto might be the strongest of my picks, but or Leto, um, but those are mine, and for the reasons I have explained, which are consistent. Yeah, um, Joshua, are you ready to present yours? <laughs> Okay. Your eyes aren't getting puffy, are they? Yeah, yeah, maybe, (laughs) maybe. Um, Go. Okay. Interesting pick. We're thinking of an explorer. That's kind of what we... We've mentioned a few times. Mm -hmm. So we want somebody who can speak languages of a good chunk of places they've gone. Translator. Okay. Who in Star Trek... He's the main guy. Well, expl- say say your name for the audio listeners. Uh, Lieutenant Ahura. Mm-hmm. Um, who's the main guy in Star Trek? Captain Kirk. But what is Captain Kirk? John or Spock? Picard. Yeah, yeah. But what are what they they are the captain. captain. They're the they're the the ladies the lady man the woman ladies house. man oh yeah. the woman the not Jean Luc Picard. Not how Spock. dare you? How dare you, good sir? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I protest. I am not a merry man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but all, I mean, really, what does Captain Kirk do except for just like he runs the ships ship. and and, and uh, do some? We've seen him do so much. He has done some things. I'll give you that. Wait, but how come would, if you're trying run to that ship talk, better, introduce her? Don't talk who, about Captain Kirk. Who would ru- who'd run the ship better? But and maybe I don't know. I I I don't. We didn't see. Not I, I think Ahura could do it. She's yeah, a lieutenant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, you know, everybody up there is in line essentially to be a captain. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think she's got the skills. I think she got great hair. She got great hair. Great, great. Same with she on par with Leto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, strong female. Strong, yeah. strong woman. She black. Woman. Did you know that? Uh, 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 Captain Kirk kissed her in the first episode of Star Trek. First interracial kiss on television. Woo! Isn't breaking down walls. I mean, they Didn't they they wanted they, they wanted they wanted that was they were trying to open it up by breaking down walls. Great. This is the future. This is the future. No racism. No racism. We don't even see color. Yeah. I mean, we're in the future now. <laughs> but <laughs> okay. no racism well, that, is that, 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 We got a translator. Yeah. We got somebody who can run the ship. Absolutely. And 
We've got we've got a powerful. She human sings being, so. too. At one, uh, I remember. I at one don't point. remember she that. Good. But Wrath of Khan. Remember she she's like half naked up on the sand dune and she's doing like a silhouette dance and singing. I do not to, remember to that. lure guys to her and then they come up to her and it was a trap. I remember her. She just, I remember them like hanging out in the bar and she's singing. <laughs> yeah, singing. Is she singing? singing? Is she the the person singing at in Boba Fett's? Uh, I mean, definitely. Jenga, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not Jenga. Uh, um, uh, what's the guy's name? Yeah. Job of the Hut. Job of the Hut. Thank <laughs> no, you. you shouldn't have given it to him. Job of the Hut. She's like, um, da 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 da. Whatever that song what is. What was that? <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> All right, Joshua's second pick. Interesting. Mm. Okay. Very interesting. Not human, but very intelligent. Right. Is. Um, He's always angry. Of running a ship. Angry. Cap- very capable. Very smart. Smarter than most humans, I would say. All right, real quick, let's just address this. People don't think of this when they think science fiction, but it does fall. It is science fiction. It's definitely science science fiction. fiction. Um, And even in the old ones, their society's really advanced. Caesar from Planet of the Apes. So we've seen him lead a group of his family of mm -hmm. apes into battle, into um, played by Andy, building up. so shelters yeah. building up their kind of yes. their peoples I would agree I, I think Caesar I think an, an entire ship of apes would be cool with mm-hmm. Caesar at the helm uh, in space in, in space in the inse- executor class superstar destroyer uh, what, a, what a whistle era <laughs> what a whistle era <laughs> wearing that trench coat yeah <laughs> just walking like, around just <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Yeah, with that scale on his face. Sick. Yeah. I love Caesar, man. That would be a good pick. It's fun. fun. It's a pick. fun it's a fun concept to throw. I, that was in that was in my list as well when I was looking for characters. Next Ready? Actually wait, 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 wait. Okay, too late. Mind, too late. Okay. Uh the father also of time too. travel. We gotta go back, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> he is Arguably, Ar- arguably, b- 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 <laughs> the guy who in cinema started time mm. travel. Yeah, because of him and his DeLorean, Doc. We have generations of time travel through shows, through movies. We have Rick and Morty mm. because of this character. I okay. am thankful for Rick and Morty. If it wasn't for Steven Spielberg and this character, Doc Brown, from Back to the Future, we would not have any of that. Okay. Yes. So, maybe, I know what you guys are going to argue for. You're going to argue that maybe his character is not worthy to be on the executive class. Oh, I would never say not worthy. If he is... Look at that stoic face. He had to be put on this list because he is the father he, of time he's a, travel. He's a big guy in, in sci-fi. I mean, Marty's... Marty's Marty, but Marty's not inventing time. He's not inventing, no, 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 no flux capacity. All he's doing is <laughs> is standing, being like Johnny, be good. The uh, the, <laughs> the, the, the the superstar destroyer's like <laughs> just traveling through time and space, <laughs> and then and then in the back you hear like no 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 Johnny, be good. <laughs> Just testing his speakers on that street. Yeah, yeah. Just destroy the from the inside out. Yeah. He's like, oldie but a goodie. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't make sense. There's no sound in space. Well, from the ship, there is. Inside the ship. What would it be yeah, like yeah. if you were... Is there really no sound in space? Is no. it because there's no pressure? Because sound <clears throat> waves can't bounce. Yeah, but there's lasers. Pew, 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 pew. I mean, but Star they, Wars but has they sound. But they wouldn't make any sound. Pew, 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 so what would it be like if if we just like turned off the sound during Star Wars in space? If you see like the Death Star explosion, it'd be like. Now there might be a sound if you're on a planet. Oh, I don't even know. That I have no idea. Where does no the sound, sound waves wave. go? Do they just like deteriorate? I have no idea. <laughs> what do you know? Dark matter and whatnot. Who knows? What not? <laughs> the explosions would be cool. Explosions in space cool to see. are big. Yeah. yeah. They get, they're like amplified. Mm-hmm. I mean, 
Imagine fire with no with no uh, gravity. It just yeah just goes forever. Pretty insane. Until it's fire. Yeah, until it's put out by that cold. Explosions in space. I mean, there was no oxygen. Explosions, so. explosions in a vacuum are massive for but, some But you wouldn't be. There's no. There's it, no oxygen. They wouldn't it carry. Would, it would die out. Yeah. It, it, but yeah, a fire wouldn't last long. But explosions, for some reason, are big, and I don't know why. I saw it on MythBusters. What would Science. happen if you? This is a genuine question. What would mm-hmm. happen if you fart in space? I think nothing it, would happen. It'd, it'd go. And that's it. <laughs> Would you sniff it? Would you be able to no. sniff it? No. There's no air. No air. And you'd probably be dead. It's so Wait. wild. <laughs> Freaking, <laughs> there is something that's about this big between us and the universe that's mm. keeping our ecosystem Wait, how intact. how big is it? About this big. Okay. Are you oh, saying how... the atmosphere is this big? <laughs> it's about this big. I don't know if that's true, but. <laughs> the atmosphere, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Got to protect those 12 inches. Uh-huh. 12 inches of pure atmosphere. All right. Let's Wyatt? Go. Yeah. Oh bother! Yeah, I w- okay. So you went with uh, uh, Duke Traides. I went with Duncan Idaho. Um, Duncan Donuts. Duncan Idaho Donuts is his whole <laughs> name. <laughs> he didn't like the last name. Yeah, he America took out. it. <laughs> that's, that's what they run on. America runs on Duncan. Yeah, uh, Dune runs on Spice. America runs on Duncan. That's why they made the films. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. I picked him because, you know, I wanted, I I like the leadership. I think he has the leadership chops. He can lead. um, He's got the fighting chops. He Mm -hmm. can fight. But the real question is, what about his pork chops? Well, okay. I'm sure he can cook. He's really really good at entering new, new cultures. Yeah, he's good at, and, and I mean, he's an excellent pilot. He's a good, he's just a good dude. He's charismatic. Good dude. No he, fish are though. Sometimes. I mean, sometimes. It fluctuates. Fluctuates, yeah. He's, and like you said, it, with your characters, caring. Mm-hmm. Cares about Paul, cares about people. It's important so, when you got that many people I think, around you. You know, I so think for a leader. A character on, he, <clears throat> he's uh, got the name Dunkin' Donuts and he's caring. So ultimately, He's just caring. No, I didn't open up with he's caring. You said he's a leader, but we don't know that. Ooh, yeah, we, we do. We he do literally kind of, yeah, leads people in the battle. <laughs> he he. We he, didn't see that in the movie. He fights. Don't need he, to. Did you see how many people he killed? So by many. himself though. Yeah, by himself. Yeah, but he went to Arrakis with no, a bunch of people. No, but remember when they were being attacked? He just said one word, and like freaking two hundred people were at his side. Yeah, he said one word, so he can command people with one word. Yeah, he's a leader. He's up. He's got chops. He's, he's in the upper <laughs> oh, retinue. Okay. Yeah, he's got, I, the, I he's got the. He's got the. Chops. I think he's got the chops to be our guy. But do we want him to be our guy? Maybe he might have the chops. So can so can we could be doing some female so service can, by I choosing think, a Jason I think, Momoa I think this character. is the character you, you're so most threatened Yugwe. by. So can you, Gwei? Yeah, this is the character you're most threatened by because no. you're already like you're already subverting. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, I just I don't know genuinely why I'm attacking him is because I don't. We weren't supposed to attack to at this point because he's Jason Momoa. Ah, Jason Momoa. I love Jason Momoa you as don't an like actor. Jason? Hey. No, I love hey. him. I'm saying I do, but I don't want to pick our guy in space because it's Jason Momoa. You want me to spit some knowledge? Okay, on you, so we have to. So we're picking Doc Brown because he influenced movies. The, no, no, no. I'm saying like <laughs> if we're every, getting into arguments, no, everybody loves. We're not Jason getting into arguments. We're not Defend. talking about Jason Momoa. We're talking about Duncan Idaho. Okay, I just don't want us to pick. Hey, this, ladies and gentlemen, Jason is what you call the wind up. It's winding up. Oh, All right, Nick, Joshua, character. let me spit some knowledge on you real quick. Don't spit you got knowledge. Face. Here it comes. <laughs> love or well, hatred is not the opposite of love. I'm just saying it doesn't Apathy matter. Apathy is the what opposite he, of what love. Character he plays. Everybody loves Jason Momoa. I didn't pick up Jason. So I don't I want us to pick Duncan. him because Duncan. he's Jason Momoa. I don't want to pick Caesar because he's Andy Circus. I think Andy Circus is too hot right now. I think everybody likes him and everybody stuff. loves Andy. <laughs> <But> I mean. <laughs> It's the same argument. It doesn't matter. It's a character. Next I'm not talking character. about the actor. Interesting. So, uh, why? You took Ripley. You took Ripley. I wanted Ripley. And you said I, I couldn't have Ripley. He looks kind of waxy. 
He does. No, well, he, you is, said, he was working out. He had been sweating. You said you Still got your blessed. characters. Yeah. And I said, yep. And, and I, I told him and you're like, crap. Hmm. I had I had to change one. I got to change one. <laughs> so he took Ripley and that's okay with me. I went with uh, Colonel Quaritch. Yeah, yeah. Miles Quaritch is his name. From Avatar. From Avatar. I had the bad He likes guy. his scar. Jake Sully. If you don't remember anything, he likes his scar. He's like in his Avatar um, form. Yeah. Of course. Uh, no, one likes, no one likes wheelchair Jake <laughs> Sully. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want to apologize for his insensitive. <laughs> talking about Jake Sully. Yeah, yeah. Wow. No, I, I, he was on my list and I x named him. He was my fourth... Fourth yeah, I, I thought of I thought of Jake, Avatar Jake, uh, but I thought You should have picked uh Jake Ripley that, Jake. that she plays in Avatar in that movie. She is and I was gonna I was thinking about also, her Also um, what's her name? I don't even know her name. Uh, uh, she wouldn't um, have been a good explorer though. No. Opinion. Um I've lost her so name. So why this fella? Okay. So again, Quaritch is a leader. Mm-hmm. He's, he rules with an iron fist. He rules with an iron fist. He's brutal. He's the bad guy. He also and, rules with scar tissue. Yeah, he, he does. <laughs> and he's oh, he's super cool. He's a fighter. He's, I mean, he really, he he, he puts them on the ropes. Well, he, he really he does. He fights till there's nothing left. <laughs> yeah. Even when he's, I mean, yeah, even when he's, they, they tear the thing off of his mech. He's, he's like putting his. on a mask <laughs> and continuing to fight. He, you know, imagine fighting full force while holding your breath. And I, I, I kind of was like, you know, we've we've picked bad guys. Sigourney Weaver is her name. Sigourney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've picked bad. We've picked good guys. I know they're all going to be good guys. I want a bad guy who's not like Darth Vader bad mm. or Emperor Palpatine bad. Like he's a bad guy. I understand. I'd follow him. Yeah. <laughs> I'd follow him. I and don't care about planets or their environment. I mean, it, I feel like he would have like earned my, my trust and loyalty as a leader. And as a soldier. Just stay the heck away from Pandora. Yeah. Because we know wow. how that ends. You know, I feel like it, and I feel like it could be an interesting, you know. An interesting life. Interesting life on that ship. Mm-hmm. You know, if I could pick... I know. Are we kind of done with this? I don't, don't want to. No, uh, you okay. say say what you're gonna. Say. Um, I know we can't pick this character mm. because he's not a movie sci-fi character. But the ultimate person from this, I think, would be Master Chief. Master Chief is cool. Now, I will say though, Master Chief does his best work solo. But he still could lead. Han he could solo. I, Master Chief with a army of of what is master chief what is that what are they called uh spartans spartans Mm-mm. behind him I, they're not called the spartans are you questioning my halo lore yeah yeah i know a little bit about halo hey siri <laughs> siri knows a little bit hey siri that. what is master chief's title will be held between the 7th of April 2022 and the 10th of April 2022. That'd be the golf August masters. Got him. Got him. Not Spartans. Um, you, you seriously <laughs> no, going to leave it there? I think you're right about Spartans. Mm-hmm. Just it didn't sit right in my yeah, mind when I heard they're it. They're Spartans. Um, I have a Spartan tattoo. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> you do, 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 do. Yeah, uh, right there. I wear pants too much. Yeah, either him or the Arbiter. Yeah, yeah. That would, that would they be. would be, both would be good. Okay, last one before oh, we get to oh, the fight. Is that not what? It? I thought That's that was it. it. No, we don't. Oh yeah, Rocket. Wait, he's part of your pick. Yeah, <laughs> you had four picks. Three, he three. Wait, <clears throat> who was your picks? My pick was Quaritch, uh, Duncan. We were on Duncan a while. Yeah, we stayed on Duncan for Duncan, a while. Duncan, Quaritch, and Rocket. Oh. Okay. You totally forgot about th- this guy. Rocket. I, I didn't forget about Rocket. Him. Over Duncan, to be honest. Bradley Cooper, ladies and gentlemen. Just, I feel like with the ship, as the biggest guns, (laughs) the awesome arrow, a super dope little rocket trench coat. (laughs) (laughs) Little one. Okay. What else? I mean, he would be a pirate warlord. 
He would. I he feel would. like he'd be going to planets with his giant ship and stealing entire civilizations. I just rock it. I, it's a I, good pick. I picked Why'd it. Why'd you pick the pick the picture that's like he kind of looks like he's got swag there? Yeah, because he, uh, he's supposed this to. Isn't the he's not picture cute. I picked. He's not like he's just like. This isn't the I'm picture here. I picked. No, I picked this picture. Yeah. Why did I, you pick this picture? Because it's 16 by 9 and it's a good one. Oh, so it I picked one where he's like, you know, looking like a rogue, looking mm. like, you know. No, this is a awesome. great one. We know about Rocket. Yeah. He's a wild card. He's <laughs> that's crazy. His, that's, that's his I, vibe. I feel like he'd be. I, I picked him for pure chaos. For That's pure chaos. chaos. I think he's a, ca- a so, the chaos. See, pick. you Who have should have picked for ethic, chaos. Is you have ethic, villain, and chaos. Mm-hmm. Okay. Angelina Jolie from nope from <laughs> Sinbad. You know the goddess of chaos. Eris. Eris. Yeah. Do you guys know that Angelina Jolie played Eris in the cartoon DreamWorks animation Sinbad? Yeah, Eris. The <sighs> who who of chaos. knew? Yeah. All right, guys. Don't don't spread misinformation. Why? It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Why? It's fine. <laughs> Look it up for yourselves. Don't be sheep. Be sheep sometimes. Nope. Bye bye. It's Michelle Pfeiffer. Don't be sheep. Bye bye, All right, fellas. Let's get into this. <clears throat> uh, this is gonna be civil? probably to the death. It's gonna be civil. Uh, oh, yeah. There's gonna be no arguing. We also we also decided we're we're gonna be talking in British accents for the Dermarine. Um, the, the, no. Remainder of the I episode. will be Nigel Thornberry. <laughs> you know, after this, we just, need, we just need to sing like, After chairs and empty tables, we're our friends. Because everybody's going to be dead. No more. Okay. Oh. We are friends. No. We have nine characters to break through. We Let's just friends. start off with the Can easiest. we have a first mate? And a, can we have a, a guy no. and a first mate? No. Nope. Nope. I, I want a first nope. mate. We're not. No. I want a first mate. We're not jipping the audience in argument. No, no. We're going to have pick our guy, but then we're going to have a first mate for that guy. No, because or then you can feel girl. kind of okay. You won't be as passionate about it. You're like, as long as my guy's one of them. <laughs> now, let's, let's, thought, let's preface this real quick. I thought it was a fun idea, Josh. Yeah, yeah. Right here, no, right it's here. a dumb idea. That we're was picking, the week. We don't elbow, have, elbow, we don't have a, elbow. We don't have a ship. A weapon or a costume for a first mate. We could just start. We could all have said over. best sci-fi duo, <laughs> but that's not what we did. Batman and Robin. But um, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. If you say Rick and Morty, I'm gonna kill you. No, genuinely, like right off the top of my head, I'd probably say Rocket and Groot. Yeah, they're I good. love me some Rocket and Groot. I like them too. Spike and Jet. Who's who's pretty? What about? Doc and Morty and Ma- Marty and Han and Chewie <laughs> Han and Chewie yeah um Dory and <laughs> Explory <laughs> Dory and and what's the name? Marlin Marlin yes oh, <laughs> Dora and Boots <laughs> oh, yeah. they're not the greatest sci-fi <laughs> yeah, they are. they're yes, pretty they good are. they're yes. a pretty good bunch Dora yeah, yeah. and Boots <laughs> yeah yeah we go Steve for, and like Blue <laughs> <laughs> Steve and Blue <laughs> oh Ooh. man um, Mowgli, Pepper. Mowgli, and Baloo, Baloo. Yeah, okay, I guess Baloo. They're not as much a duo. They're also not sci-fi. They're yeah. jungle. Mm. I'm gonna go out on a limb, bare necessity, and I'm gonna do self-sacrifice first. What? I don't think. Yeah, Qui Gon's not gonna Jin, make it. I'm sorry. He's not gonna make it. Or my guy in the corner over there. No, Leto has a very strong chance of making. I'm just saying. Look, I just want to throw this think out Duncan here. Over Leto. I just want to throw this out here. Yeah. Uh, already, the Atreides house has a big lead on this board. Oh, you should have gone with Paul, and then we could have monopolized this whole thing. Yeah, but I don't want Paul. Chi. What would it be? Father, son, friend. I would pick. We don't if know. I was gonna pick something from the Dune franchise. I would pick. I think. I think mm. honestly, for me, what's Zendaya's Lido character? Lido is. <clears throat> what's her name? Chani. Sean. Cha- uh, I guess. Chani. 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 I would pick Turo. Or what's the guy that he fights? They're her like. You're relying on Wyatt too much for information. Because I've never read the book. I know. Ask me. I might know. Stilgar. Stilgar. The. He, it's not the one he kills. Yeah, but the leader of the. Stilgar. Of the tribe, the yeah, still, yeah, that's still guard, still guard, yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, you're right. Atreides got a strong pool, and I don't think we are not going to dis- discount 
Leto so early. He's too too strong of a character for that. Yeah. Yeah. If you're talking about the executor super class destroyer with a cool trench coat with the era. Yeah, but we all know we want either Rocket or 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 I it's it's Sully. No, I, I, I think we've got I think I think Caesar. we've got a lot of similarities that we're gonna have to choose between from. Furry friends. Furry friends. Okay. We're gonna have to choose between them. Yeah. Uh strong women. Gonna have to choose between them. Oh, man. House of Trades. Gonna have to choose between them. Uh, yeah, cool but, old dudes. Cool what? old dudes. <laughs> cool old, cool old dudes. dudes. Come on. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Come he on. didn't invent time travel. He what did he invent? War. He invented he war, war the, itself. He is the only villain on the team. He's the only villain. I'll give you the villain, but he didn't create time travel. He didn't invent we're not invent, we're not okay. pulling this executive we're not, about, we're, not invent, we're not talking about time travel we're not talking about any of them you're right that's a great reason to get rid of doc he we're he invented do you know what he invented <laughs> what did he invent he invented that machine <laughs> he, that fed the dog that cracked the egg that made the breakfast the scene from the beginning of the movie he's an i inventor. don't want to spoil yeah, your yeah. uh your fun but that's not tech that lives up to the executor class superstar destroyer or to lead Hear me a out. ship of that of that stature. You're you're going through space to explore new worlds and And you got someone who's mentally deranged, who's too busy learning how to crack eggs in his bedroom no, no. then explain why there's a bigger ship following and you on got, the you, ass you, end. It's gonna take you a year to get to the next place. Okay. okay? So don't you wanna be sitting down with your eggs and with your food and this and be like, mm, this is Yeah, I'll and sit they, there and be like, Yeah, robots make it. No, this you're gonna be me. like Mm. My captain's Good robots soup. made this for Good me. Soup. You don't think there's already that stuff available? If we're being honest, I think Lieutenant Ahura is more qualified than Doc Brown. <laughs> <laughs> to run a spaceship? To run a spaceship. No, she's way more qualified. He is playing with... I think he's kind of insane. You know what I was going to put on here? Insane. I wanted to put Tim Allen from... Uh, I yeah. was oh, thinking the same oh. thing. I didn't even go with anybody from Galaxy Quest. I was, I was what thinking the same thing. Quest. I don't know. I was, was about to. character. I, anybody I from Galaxy Quest. We're going to have Sigourney <laughs> Weaver on here again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually was thinking about and Sigourney it, Weaver fact, from I think, Avatar. I think that... Um, um, I forget his name who plays Korich. He, uh, he wanted to be in... Galaxy uh, West. I want to see. I want to say it, it, it was yeah, early like on. I want to say it was like Alien. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So he was almost going to work with Sigourney early on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fascinating. And he, he didn't get to, but then I, this is like. All right. <clears throat> was he too busy breakout waxing role? himself down? Is that why? I don't know right, what it let, is. We, all right. The only way we're going to make progress, let's start pitting. Pitting? Pitting. Pitting? Yeah. Pitting? Pitting? Oh, wait, well, let's first. I got rid I of Qui-Gon Jinn. Let's get pitting? rid of the obvious can you, weak characters. Can you define the word pitting? Because I don't know what that means. Head to head. Nose to nose. Versus. One on one. Mano a mano. Define mano mano. The mighty duel. Uh, a duel. Uh, a standout. Standout. Standoff. I get you. I get uh, you. I'm just trying to the, uh, prolong <laughs> That kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Let's get rid of the weak characters that couldn't hold their own in a standoff. Okay, Doc. Duncan. Okay, we can get rid of Doc if we get rid of Duncan. No. So, look, this you're not pitting up. You're not pitting oh, up correct. Who wins in a sword fight? I see how this is <laughs> Duncan. <laughs> okay, but who's Duncan, got the Duncan's, better whistle game? Duncan's gonna have a sword. He's gonna have a lightsaber that he invented. He He's can't invent shield. lightsabers. He invented that shield. You're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> I say we get rid of Doc. We're gonna have to. We have to pit I, similarities. I, I, I honestly, going, I, Duncan. Pro, I'm calling this now. Duncan is gonna be our final character. No, I will. No, I'm okay, willing to listen. sacrifice Duncan for Doc. Duh, let's get I, rid of. I, I don't know if I am. I'm, I'm, I'm wanting you. to. I'm wanting to sacrifice him. No, mm, Duncan. I like him. Well, yeah, you like all of them. As far, uh, yeah, well, yeah, I wouldn't. All right, pick fine. Him if I didn't Duncan like for him. Doc. Okay. Duncan for Doc. Because okay. I, I already know Leto's staying on the double D's. Duncan. Get rid of them. We don't want them here. <laughs> and Doc. We do want them here. <laughs> all right. So far, we have not <laughs> lost our our marbles. Yeah. Getting I rid of Doc we've was easier than I thought. Very well. 
Um, uh, you want to go ahead and pit, who, pit furry friends furry or friends. women? <laughs> or women. <laughs> no, I would say pit these two. Warlords? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do we want a good guy or a bad guy? I personally- I would go bad guy I, over good guy. No, we always go bad guy because we're boys. He's so cool. Can you see, I can, we I can always, see him. There's one bad guy out of this whole group of people. No, can, I'm saying we always lean towards bad I guys. I totally as boys. see him with the whistle arrow and the coat. I could see Looking him. Looking awesome I can't see with him. the scar. I can't see. I could see you him. You can, can easily him. see him with the whistle and the coat and this. Excuse me. <laughs> you don't know me. Okay, well let's 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 line them up since we're going head to head. Yeah. Both leaders. Stronger leader. Both. No. He's lead, he leads White more men. people. No, he leads more people than this guy. More people he leads than this guy. I, I, I bigger I, I army would, he leads. I would beg than to differ. He um, leads. A, this is this is a, he's a pretty impressive leader. He yeah. is stronger still. Both leaders. Okay, let's let's. Who do you think would win in an arm wrestling match? <laughs> <laughs> probably Quaritch. <laughs> <laughs> um, both leaders. Uh, both probably pretty good in an arm wrestling match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, both talented military strategists and warlords. Mm -hmm. um, both die. They both do die. But who? Uh, one we're, not, we're not. We're not doing this on your terms. One of them kills extremely large, dangerous cat people. Yes. Uh, in mech suits. I think me and Wyatt are going for this guy, and you're going for. Mech suits. Mech suits, my guy. Doesn't have a shield. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have a massive planetary army. You're right. He don't. And he still. Don't be. And still. <laughs> still. 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 I don't. I can't get behind He's this. He's putting the main characters. Uh, you don't have to convince me. I'm with you. I'm, I'm with on you. the ropes. I'm no, with you. It, it, it's not. It, it, that's not going to convince me. The, it's he two is against one, my such guy. a more stronger. Okay, look. It's two against You're one. You're right about things that we're talking about here. He is mm. a strong leader. Yeah. And he does show a lot of um, drive for what he does. But I'm not ready to commit to wiping out literally the most positive one. character to keep the most ratchet of characters. <laughs> ratchet? Let's look. Okay, let's. Uh, May we revisit? He this? is strong. I think Rocket Hold is on. more he ratchet is strong. than him. He, he is. You Rocket know. is pretty. Let's look at how they die. Yeah. Let's not. <laughs> let's not. Naked and, and afraid. afraid and and dying alone. No, not afraid. He almost took out the Baron. Afraid, but almost took out the Baron. Didn't succeed. I mean, Quarch didn't succeed either. Yeah, he did. But he died in a mech suit with two arrows in his chest. That's what it took to kill him. Yeah. The only bu buddy who had more arrow arrows in his chest was Boromir. This guy had a hunter seeker in his back. Okay. That's pretty. Hunter seekers are harder to deter than arrows. He should have been able to dodge I'm with them with white on his... here. I'm not I'm not picking. I mean, if anybody deserves to have a whistle arrow, it's the guy who died via arrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he would have been able to block it. Yeah. Well, can you imagine him Same on Pandora? Same concept for him, though. If he had an arrow, no, he'd be alive. Imagine him on Pandora with that whistle arrow. Like, Dude, just killing the Navi. Killing all those blue people. Get them yeah, out of there. Yeah, blue hippies. Yeah, see, Smoking I, their I, weed. Can we come back to these guys? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not ready to pit them against each no, other. No, no. We, oh, we're, oh, we already have. It's two against no, one. No, two against that's one. not how this has ever worked. Okay. Excuse me? No, we never. Excuse there's me? There's always a compromise or there's always a deal. That's how What's we've always deal? done this. We haven't just we haven't just voted out anybody. We have. Uh, <laughs> all right. right. So it ended last time. All right, but okay, but uh, under every other pitting them together scenario, it's me versus one of y'all. I don't like this. No, it's because you're always fighting for your picks. No, genuinely, like. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, if you get rid of these two what? guys, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm Who saying. Who else am I gonna fight for? Wyatt, if we get rid of Person these two you guys, believe in. genuinely, I'll pick any of these four. I don't care. Any of these four, I'm happy with. I don't want to get rid of both of them. I think they're strong, powerful leaders. Well, so is Caesar. Just because he's not a white male. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> we need some diversity are we, here. Are we pitting? Are we actually pitting Caesar and Rocket against each other? I think they're. I think Rocket's Rocket's that, better. That's pick. that's a hard decision. I don't care which one because they're both really good. But <clears throat> I think Rocket's a better there pick. Is. You think Rocket's a better? I think I think Caesar's, it's a more fun concept. I think Caesar's Caesar. a better leader. I think Rocket's a cooler idea. Yeah, but he's a dictator. He's more of a, a dictator. A just the, I mean, like very. He's more fair. Uh, it, yeah, but who do you want to follow, Captain Jack Sparrow, or Commodore Norrington? Commodore Norrington. To no. be honest, Sparrow. I would be Give scared. Me he, Sparrow. You know he's gonna he's gonna go. What's crazy? life without a little bit of fear? How do you he's know you're living? He's basically Daenerys Targaryen. She'll go crazy at any time. He's not going to go he's crazy. He's not going to. I think it'd be a fun ride. You said you don't care. Do you truly don't care? I don't. Also, more knowledge of technology. But I think out of out of these two, I would think he's more... A, he's more... A, he would be a fair leader and more... Look, if we're talking about fair leaders, we're going with Leto. He's too. If we're talking about like arm wrestling, he would win. I don't know. You've seen Rocket fight people. Rocket's half robot. He's mean. Yeah, but he only uses guns. So like he doesn't. He doesn't no. have strength. He's a raccoon. He's jumping all over the place. Yeah, but he's, he's strong. People. He's, he's got, got claws. Smart smarts and like outwit. He doesn't have strength like Caesar. So all right. So both are sentient animals who are inventive. Um, one of them invents massive guns that can destroy planets. Mm-hmm. The other one, the invents other plans. one, invented a spear. He invented way more than a spear. And also, horseback riding houses. <laughs> and waterfalls. Communal society for apes. Which one was that already it was already still, halfway there. Apes are already one that that's is that's because no. they had to. <laughs> it was already halfway there. Already. <laughs> no, that's because I know they had to. Their go instincts up the were doing chain. the job. You can't go from I'm, zero honestly, to hundred. Honestly, I'm putting fast. in my mind. I'm putting Caesar in the same sort of ranking as Rocket as far as knowing about the technology. Um, <clears throat> I'm t- I. Bleh. Not I, Caesar. Personally, I think it'd be more fun to see Rocket. Uh, I, I agree. I think Rocket's the better choice over our furry friends. Yeah. I think he, Rocket I think is... he's f- more uh, comical. I actually like... I like Caesar the better. idea of Caesar, but if I we're... I like the idea of if Caesar If we're going better, for just leaders, I would vote Atreides over, over Caesar. Well, yeah. We okay, vote. who's more of a just... of a better leader? Um, Caesar or... Atreides. Atreides. Yeah. I'd go with Atreides. Atreides. You go Atreides. Atreides over Caesar? You guys yeah. haven't been listening to me the whole time, Joshua. Listen to me. He... He's the king, the, the emperor. Oh, now the emperor. He is the what is, what he is the title? A I bunch guess of spice. a king, a duke. duke he is a duke a of a whole planet okay. and a whole people. Who are we? Who are we pitting against each other? The, and he's a good leader. He's the one that he's the only family that the emperor of the listen, galaxy listen here, listen here. was fearful of. What? Who are we pitting against each other? A guy who brought a family from nothing to home and he built a society for their family. That was essentially or, the Stone Ages. Or the guy who invented the lemon herbs and spices for KFC. Who are we voting for here? He does not look like the colonel. He's if anything, spice. this is the colonel. <laughs> <laughs> he is a colonel. He is a colonel. Um, uh, I don't herbs know. Look, let's pit the furry friends together because they're a, a matched foe. I think Caesar has got to go. He's less like he's he's not a, as good of a fit. To be honest, let's get rid of everybody and just keep f- Captain First Mate. No, you like that, don't you? <laughs> no, well, it's not too so much. You. It's our, It's too much Rocket and Groot. If we choose Rocket, we know who the first mate's gonna be. Groot. That's true. He's gonna be there. Yeah, but no, no. Imagine this. Mm. We're same characters, but just think of them as. Sinbad and Kale. They they match each other's yeah. wit. Yeah, in this, but in this, but but Groot's already Kale. No, no, Big and Groot, strong. Groot is a pushover. Groot Groot is Rocket's muscle. How do you know? He says, "I am Groot." How do you know he's not saying? He very gives that it. He much. literally puts a bag over <laughs> over um uh Peter and drags him like this <laughs> because Groot because of Rocket tells him to. Yeah. Um. Would Kale do that? Yes, absolutely. 
Kale would absolutely do yeah, that. But you know, and he, you're lying to yourself if you don't think he would. He would. He'd be distracted by. He'd be like, "Hello, ladies." <laughs> uh, uh, maybe we should let's pit <laughs> strong women. <laughs> okay, okay. They're both strong. I like either of them, but but you're gonna go for the white. Lady over. Oh Actually, my God. honestly, you cannot play the race card. <laughs> if yeah, I'm being okay. honest, I wouldn't. For me personally, you would pick Ripley over Uhura. Well, you no, pick no, over I would Ripley? pick Uhura over Ripley. Yeah, yeah. She knows I think, she's got more language. I they think, both got. Let me finish my own freaking equal thought. knowledge of space. Stop talking over me. All right. I would pick Uhura over Ripley. Okay. I would because I think uh, across the board, I think that she does have the knowledge we're looking for in a character more than Ripley. Now, Ripley's my pick, and yet I think I would pick Hora over Ripley. Mm -hmm. I like Ripley because I think she's got navigational skills. She's yeah. a pilot. Um, she but also, you guys know I like I like the badass. She's mm -hmm. a badass. She's awesome. Ripley. So is Ahura. Oh. Uh, uh, I don't think I ever more saw delicate. Uhura Fight. carrying a child while wielding a flame throwing machine gun. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen that? No. Did the thing you, is, which the, setting, was that the setting we have set up for our character is not going to do best in that kind of environment. Have you seen True. Ripley, though, go travel through time? No. Okay. Yes, actually. We're talking about the Titanic she of space. is in a pod for like... 50 years so she does literally travel through time um we're 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 <laughs> in, we're in the okay. titanic of space i'm gonna pick let's Ahura. okay but let's 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 say it like this if we pick ahura over ripley you think ahura is going head to head with any of these other guys out of fighting skills no ahura versus rocket who would you pick i don't but the thing is i don't think Ripley could either. No, I, I I think I think Ripley's got the chuspa. <laughs> She's got the chuspa. She's got the drive. She well, got the power. She gets out of the kitchen making. She husband, stay husband. hungry. She devour. All right, let's try this. Let's let's pit Ripley against Caesar. Mm. No, I would pick Caesar over Ripley. Yeah, Caesar, but I'd also pick Caesar over Ahura. So we get rid of both of them. But nobody strong women strong. <laughs> strong. Nobody can be the translator here. None of them. Rocket. Okay, but Rocket's gonna be like, let me just get my translator and turn it on right quick. No, he doesn't. He never does that in the uh, mm. in the movie. Oh, he can he? Does he have like a chip or something? In his I'm sure. To... I mean, He's Peter got has one. They there's no ever any point where they're like talking to another person. He's got tech. Yeah. And he understands Groot, so he can speak Groot language. He might actually. He might have a translator or something in yeah. his brain. You think you're right? I think a horror is better than Ripley. I think Rocket's better than Caesar. That's my that. That's what my gut says. In the environments we've set up for ourselves, I think no. These you're not going to knock me out with one solid blow by getting all. Two of my, my no, I no, said no. Ahura is better, is better than, than Ripley, Ripley, and Rocket is better than Caesar. I am voting against myself. So that would knock out these two. Two if centers we were to do that. Yeah, but no, because I like Caesar. I look Ripley Caesar's is not. Caesar I mean, Ahura's not going to win. Look, over we already know Caesar's this. not competing I, I with either of these. Let's guys. get. Let's talk about this first. I don't think Ahura is going toe to toe with either of these dudes. I don't think Caesar don't is think, going toe to toe no, with either I of these. I disagree. Dudes. I would pick arm over wrestling. Any of these guys. No. Nah. No, we're talking no about status. We're talking about personality. We're I talking about who they are as individuals. Period. I don't want to. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't. I couldn't see Ahura as my leader. Not this one. Maybe uh, uh, Zoe Saldana, Ahura. No, she's the better Ahura. I'd go with Zoe. Oh, she's the better Ahura. <laughs> I'd follow Zoe Saldana I mean, anywhere. If she said, go. <laughs> I'm going. Also. I mean, if we're saying. Zoe Saldana. Zoe Saldana. Zoe Saldana. She's been in all of them. Who's the real queen uh, why, here? Why, why is it Zoe Saldana? <laughs> just her as a person. 
Her, she's been represented in the background. Yeah. Subconsciously. She was in Star Trek. She was in Galaxy. See, I was thinking Guardians about that. What about the putting heck? Her, about that Lieutenant Uhura. But I like this version of Uhura. I don't think there's enough of her that has... How, like, how much have you seen, genuinely, of the old Star Trek stuff? Uh, the entire f- thing with her in it. The movies and the show mm-hmm. and all the, I know show doesn't count because we're not talking about yeah. shows. We're talking about movies here. And I, I don't but, think I've ever seen her lead armies or, you know, build civilizations. Oh, she could talk in some other languages. That's pretty cool. So could Caesar. He could speak ape and sign language and English. We, I think we're getting rid of her. Maybe we get rid of Uhura too. How about we just knock out the women? <laughs> I, I'm already saying if you knock out the women, you definitely have zero chance because Caesar's not winning against any of these three. Caesar's not winning in any of this scenario. A whore is your best bet because I'm kind of on board with a whore. I think, though, in an arm wrestling match, Caesar wins against <laughs> all of these guys. Well, he's an ape. Of course he wins. Except maybe against I'm Ripley getting nervous again. or Quaritch in a mech suit, <laughs> which we've seen both of them in. I'm not voting for for Rocket, and I know it's either going to be Rocket or one of these guys, and I definitely don't pick for these guys. I don't think I would pick Rocket either, though. It, Caesar's not we the already, best option I think here. we've already determined these three aren't going on, but I don't... That means these three are these going two, on. I don't want those two, and I, I don't would know honestly, if I want Rocket either. I, uh, between Korich and Rocket, of my picks, I would choose Rocket, because I, I feel like too. that would be such a fun shit yeah, okay, to be So in. you want to pit them together? Pit no, them against each other? I think ultimately no, we're saying I Rocket. Rocket over I think him. ultimately we're saying Rocket over this whole list. I'm not convinced of that. I'm, th- I'm still making up my own mind between Rocket, Ahura, and Leto. Okay. I'm st- th- those. If I'm being upfront, those are my top ideas. And notice, can we? Those are one of each of ours. I'll let you have Rocket as the as the guy. If we can have Ahura as the translator. <laughs> Translator, Look, and then this first is mate. Joshua. This is sudden death. There's no one surviving but Juan. How about just this be our 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 team? <laughs> our, it's a pretty, our dude. Team. This is a diverse. Our six six. This six, is six. A, this is a sick. Our, our sinister six. Our sinister six. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Man. This is a diverse team cast of characters right here. I'd watch this show all day. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, but that's not happening. No, we have one. Sick trench coat to fill. All right, we're uh, giving it to Rocket. It's we're gonna put it in the wash. No, and shrink no, it down, no, no. In the dryer, <laughs> shrink it down, fit Rocket, and then he's gonna be the captain. But it's gonna be captain, first mate, who translator. Can, who on this list can cook. we pit against each I'm other? Kidding, I'm <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. Look, who can we pit against each other? Can we pit Leto against Caesar? I'm gonna pick Caesar I'd over pick, Leto. I pick Leto. Yeah, of course. I don't want Leto, period, on this list. I don't like Leto. He's I racist. I don't understand why. He's, He's not racist. <laughs> He's the most loving person. Uh, that beard, I don't like him. He's okay, the but you woman. like all hair. Yeah. <laughs> Good, beautiful hair. Beautiful hair. Beautiful hair. <laughs> and in Terra Nova, he also has a beautiful beard. This man looks beautiful, like amazing with a beard. But he's a little waxy. He, too waxy he's been me. working out. He's sweaty. He's too waxy. He's got for a me. sheen on him. So he's strong. <laughs> he works out every day. We got to pit something. We got six on the board. We have to I, eliminate. I'm, I'm, I honestly, I like the idea of dropping these three and keeping these three. Are you down? That's then one. We have, that's then one we have each. to argue one of each of ours. I'm not. I'm not gonna be happy any way we slice this pizza. You, Ahura's and, on the board. She's one of your picks. Yeah, we but said I pick already good. Know she's you not, said I pick good, and you're not happy with your own pick. No, I'm 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 happy with these two picks. But I know if we get rid of anything that leaves her up here, Joshua, she's not going to be the last. person Listen standing. to me. And We've already determined you. You're going to pick Rocket over her. Listen to you me. You already look, said this. Look, look, the vibe in the room. We like Ahura more than Caesar. Ahura look, has a better chance I, I than Caesar. I understand what Josh is saying because. If it's down, if it's down between Ahura and Duke Atreides, I'm 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 following Atreides. I'm not even for me personally. I'm not sold on it yet. He walks out with the bagpipes playing. Mm-hmm. 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 
<laughs> oh no, lemon herbs and spices. <laughs> I'm following. If it means following him into a trap where I know the emperor is and going who, to kill and our who people. Pick, and wait, then who you I, pick after that? Joshua. Rocket. No, yes. but you're you're so, just. Uh, we're gonna have Rocket. Uh, we've already determined Rocket's kind of our guy. No, he's not. Not yet. Is that our guy? He's my guy. I don't, I, <laughs> no, I'm, gonna, no. I'm not picking a trades. Period. I want to see I Rocket. I would pick him over over a trades. Why I'm not on picking earth? Picking a trades. He's not my guy. I'm not following the lemon herbs and spices. So I'm gonna pick Rocket. Rocket has won over this six people. If that's what we're doing, we're not picking Rocket yet. If you vote with me for Rocket, I'll get rid of Atreides. Okay, get rid of Atreides. Absolutely not. Get no, rid of I'm not standing. I'm not standing down. You know what? I like Caesar. Yeah, but guess what? It's two case. against one. Look, this isn't. No, we have. I'm giving up. I'm giving up. Courage. Limited, we haven't. We have six I'll, people on the board. I think that's what we decided. You Rocket. are rushing so fast without a legit argument. Okay. You're going entirely All right, off your guns. Slow down. All right. Rocket I, is not set in stone yet. I'll give. I'll secede Quaritch. Get him out. Damn. I want to secede Ripley. Okay. We, I, yeah, I don't, no, I don't she's think... She's not going on. She's not yeah, going on. Yeah, I don't on. think she's... She's definitely you know. not going on. Um, I want to secede Atreides. <laughs> secede it's not the meaning of the word I want to give up my pick of Atreides you've got two to fight for here of your picks if you choose to fight for your picks I'm not I, I know they're However, not going to win if I would you, pick I already said I would pick him over Rocket but he's if we're going to do two against one you guys aren't going to pick Rocket over Caesar you said you aren't going to pick a horror over Trades, so we have to basically get rid of these three and keep Rocket. That's how I, we're, it's going to end up. I I can't pick a horror in good conscience. I I could. I can't pick Caesar in good conscience. I I and also and we, also I can't pick Rocket in good conscience over Leto. I yeah, can't. but nobody cares about your good conscience. Me and Wyatt already said we would if it was going to be a Trades over Rocket. We were picking Rocket. I'm just saying, I haven't seen uh, Lieutenant Ahura lead any number okay, of people get rid of into anything. Get rid of Ahura, but then also get rid of Atreides, because we already said, if we're going to pick Rocket or Atreides, it's going to be Rocket. If, if we end up going with Rocket, which I'm not ready to say yet, Caesar's not going to be next to the final. I don't care who we are. Caesar doesn't make it. Caesar I've never is, argued for Caesar. Well, that, I'm, I'm telling the, the two of you. Caesar is not a better pick than Ahura. You're trying to do this political thing. Okay, but these two are better picks than Atreides. Oh, that is blasphemy. Rocky. That's blasphemy. No. no. That's bla... They're not... Neither of them are better picks than Leto. Leto's not a good pick, period. I, I choose Leto. <laughs> <laughs> Over what, though? Over Rocket? That's hard. That's tough for me. See, it's I, a legit question. I if, I I don't pick Leto it's over It's two Rocket. vibes. I'm saying Caesar definitely doesn't make it. Laura, I think, it. still might be on the board. You're just trying to knock out one, but I'm trying to say we already know that it's basically Leto and Rocket is the pick. And I'm not picking Leto. I've been saying this for 10 minutes now. Rocket, it's either going to be Rocket or nobody because me ain't picking <laughs> Atreides. Why? Look, tell me tell me everything we've worked hard to get to this point. So we have a we have a ship we've mentioned many times. We have the whistle arrow, which is a very specific kind of weapon. Do, stop thinking about just your personal bias of things. I don't care about Atreides as as a character from the book. This actor, I don't like him. I don't like this guy and how he played this character. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. You're hitting, you're hitting, you're bringing your bias into this. We are talking legit like stats and baseball card info. We're not talking about what the vibe, the film of this character gave But us. I like how the Rocket, I would rather pick Rocket over Atreides. Well, I think Rocket is a lot less attractive on I screen think... than Atreides, yet... 
we might still end up going with Rocket. Stop I think now. Zoe Saldana is a better actress. <laughs> we I, could get rid of this. Tomorrow. I thought we were throwing <laughs> out <laughs> meaningless actor facts. I because I, I I don't think I don't I'm know. Not picking, I don't know. I'm not picking Atreides. But you would pick Rocket. Yeah, you would. Yes, you would give up your other two. Yes, and pick Rocket yes. with me. Yes. <laughs> I'm right. not going Atreides. We're getting I don't rid of care. Caesar. This is this is this is my putting my foot down. I'm not picking Atreides. Period. You seriously between like between Rocket and Caesar, who would you pick? Between Rocket and Caesar, or she's Rocket. I think Rocket kind of wins for me because I want to be on that ship. I want to be partying. I want to be stealing planets and stuff. Let's just take a moment to consider. Mm-hmm. Before we put, before we say this to the world, that we say, yes, according to our breakdown. No, this is not according Rocket, to our, because I talking got raccoon, a lot. A robot this. talking raccoon does indeed, fact, in fact, make the most epic sci-fi character of the world. Now, we could be really lame since we all have one pick up here and do rock, paper, scissors. Oh, no, no, no. I don't accept that. I just don't accept that. We can that. end it off completely fair and impartial. That's not fair and impartial. Yes, it is. Whoever wins, wins. All right. I, I'm, I'm pulling me and Joshua rules. I'm claiming it. I will secede everything mm. and go with Rocket. But I require that you and you. No. Call me a good man. No, 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 no. I don't. I'm not calling you good man right now. Uh, I mean, when when you betrayed Josh, yeah, you're not a good time. man. You're a backstabbing. By, by seceding now backstabbing fool. with dignity, I think you make up. I think you make up for betraying Josh. That's BS. I think if you secede with <laughs> you're the back, there was no and a fool. With, there was no <laughs> movement. In last episode, there was no way much like that Paul, we would have ever gotten anywhere much with like what, Paul what I, my own pick was against that I can't trench coat. It. I can't handle Don't it. You are, on me. You're Dr. Yui. You are Dr. Yui, and he's Paul Atreides. He stabbed him in the back. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. He never can't stabbed Paul. It. Shot him with a thing that stabbed him in the back. Paul. You're saying Atreides. Yeah, Atreides. You're saying Paul. Lido, Lido Atreides. Tried to I, I did not throw out a hunter seeker at Joshua. Mm, kind of feels like it to me. No. I used my kinda own weapon like as me. a joke. I didn't wow. it wasn't even against your I didn't even argue and say, ha, ha, Yes, joke, Joshua, joke. Joshua, you had a great pick. And uh, now this I'm is gonna all act like over it's a great whether pick. we're gonna call you a good man. You're not a good man. Call me a freaking good man. I'll, call, good I'll, man. I'll call you an honorable man if you secede with dignity. I'm seceding with dignity. Secede I would, with dignity. I would appreciate if you call me a good man. Mm-hmm. I'll call mm-hmm. you. No. I'll say you lost with dignity. <laughs> this isn't a win or lose. We're creating the ultimate character we are. based on discussion and argument. And I want to hear you call me a good man. Mm. I'll, I ain't gonna I'll, do it. I'll, I'll pull my dukes I, down. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Call me a good man. Nope. Pull your dukes down. <laughs> pull my He's dukes down. I say we go for a rocket, but I ain't <laughs> calling you a good man. <laughs> Let it. I'll call you a good man if Josh doesn't have to. I ain't calling you a good man. I I told you I wasn't forgiving you for the last episode. And I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so wait. So we're saying that uh, the best weapon and character comes from the same franchise. Sure. Sure. Why not? Wait, what was the weapon? Whistle arrow. Oh. You weren't even thinking Did of you this. You see that dope little fin see, on the head? See, I didn't. Head? <laughs> <laughs> he looks so awesome. He's got a little fin on his furry Here's head. the thing. I, it, Although I would like you to call me a good man, and although I might have I might have hurt some feelings in the last episode. Mm-hmm. Yes. I know that Joshua Wyatt's motivation is to look at the final and see his shut own. Shut up! Head. Don't I, I shut know, up! I know. I, shut I up, know. No. Shut he, up! He's gonna have three it's, it's of his back picks. There. It's been back there. Three that, of his picks on the final at the end of how this. How dare you bring this up now? What? 
<laughs> right, I, I'm at the cusp of victory. Joseph, I know that. I know it's been there. That's why I said I did. That's why going into this episode, I said I was not going to enjoy this episode because my stuff was not going to get picked. But I would still rather have Rocket over Atreides. Be honest. I genuinely would have Rocket because I agree with what him. What about a horror? Would you have a horror over either of these? And yes. Cool and wacky this yeah. character, this whole thing is going to be. But I would have. <laughs> If I was gonna pick Why? over a horror or Giant Caesar, spaceship. I would pick Caesar with the with the fin on his head with the trench whistle coat. arrow. Caesar all the way trench coat and a freaking but not. I would raccoon. pick Caesar over a horror and Caesar. I would pick Caesar. If out of these pick right here, I would go for Rocket. Joshua, we've always called you the wild card, but you truly are a wild card of opinion. He's wild. I'm wild. I'm the wacky, wacky and wild. I'm wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's wacky and who's wonderful? Josh was the wild. I'm all of them. Um, I'm I'm, I'm like, wonderful. I want to say whack. I'm wacky. I'm wonderful. Wonderful. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just wild. You never know what's gonna happen. Wyatt. I I think we're gonna lean towards Rocket for this one, but I want you to know I don't accept. Yeah. You didn't really pull over anything on us. You didn't throw the shade over our eyes because no, we because kind of it knew your fault no, it was from something. last pick yeah, when you, we were patting us against. Then you were like, "Oh wait, I'm going with Wyatt." It wasn't this about padding a- against. I always liked that trench coat. I think this is da- this is a psychological thing with the relationship between the three of us. Could so be. it's. So me and Wyatt are always going to be arguing. You mm-hmm. know, we always have these disagreements. And Joseph's like struggling. He's like, I'm over here. Who am I going <laughs> to pick? Who am I going to pick? Who am no. I going to pick? I don't have I, to pick between any of you. My guy is still on the board. I I think we've already agreed that we're voting against him. I say. How could you do that? Uh, I think Rocket would be really cool. <laughs> See Joshua, also and I also you think, yourself like, have allowed horror. the victory, the quote victory that Victory's Wyatt has been seeking no, no. so Last delicately. Time, no, me and Wyatt wasn't. were arguing. Me and Wyatt were arguing. You were with me, and then you said, "Wait, no, I'm going with Wyatt." And then everybody was upset. At the front that end of this. That was your fault last time. At the front end of this with the Executor Star, Star Destroyer, he was pulling really hard to try to get his let's, his Executor. Let's class. look at this. Both. I'm Both saying human character is very distinct hair features. I think ultimately Rocket, look this at that is big open area right there for that fin. <laughs> this is the real Where's question. Where's it going to fit on her What's head? better, Hook or Saving Private Ryan? Saving Private Ryan is better than I think we are, this is time. a long episode. We're kind of running out of time. We need to pick a character. Wyatt? You did not beat us because I wasn't we trying are to. aware of it. I was no, I wasn't trying to beat. Yes, I was you were. Just you were trying to slide it under the radar. <laughs> Don't bull face no, no, lie no. on camera. In this one, we all know it. In this, I would have argued hard for Duncan if it, if I felt like Duncan was. He had a it, chance. I felt like if he had a chance, I would have argued for Quaritch if I felt like the room, the vibe. But I got to, I'm arguing for mine. Remember, I'm when we were going happy. through the introductions, you completely forgot about Rocket. Did I really? Yeah, because you were like, do I have another one? Oh, oh, Rocket. Yes, we talked so long about Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rocket would look pretty cool to Finn. I'm not happy with this with this game. <laughs> I don't want to play any more games on these podcasts. Josh ain't playing any more games. <laughs> No, it's hard out here for a player. <laughs> I think next game we come up with something a little less heavy, uh, uh, argumentative. Argumentative. No, people like how we argue and we like our, but it's just I don't like it. It it brings too much conflict into this, and I can't handle it. Wyatt. <laughs> All your I mouth. see is Wyatt. Stop grinning. All right. This was my master plan. I would like to you give guys, a closing no, statement. I, I would like to give a closing statement. Mm. I'm not happy. From the beginning, I, I wasn't, uh, I we ultimately went with the executor class, although I said it would put us in a box. How many of these are Wyatt's? Three, Three. out of four? Three out of four. Um, I Sheesh. said, I said, I didn't want to go with the executor class because it put us in too much of a box, which in fact it did. Yeah. Then we went to best 
weapon. And I thought, great, logical, mm. the coolest weapon in the galaxy. Then we went to best debatable, outfit, debatable. which happened to be the most dramatic episode we've ever recorded. Did we determine, is this first generation or second Finn? Uh, the one that's I'm fast. saying second. Second, I think it was yeah, faster and more the, upgraded, yeah. I like the Finn. Um, then we went to best outfit, and although it was the most dramatic, and although I pulled a stunt that everyone apparently was, well, here, was upset mm. with, but thoroughly enjoyed the viewing of it. Right. I mean, it made me I'm happy. being honest. I'm not honest. Before we recorded the podcast, I was seeing the pics, and I was like, nothing stands up to this. Cause, and this, it was the box of the executor class that put us in this, because I could see the captain of the executor class wearing this so vividly in my mind. So vividly. So although I pulled a stunt and that now, made everyone unhappy. we got a rocket. We got this, a small one. This jacket is about I know. <laughs> And so, <laughs> it's, <What? this> <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. How big is the arrow? Is the arrow? Is the arrow's got to be small the arrow's too. It's got to be like regular size. No, the arrow's regular size. It's like <laughs> half the size of Rocket's body. He can lean against. It. He could use it as a walking oh, stick. Oh, can you see him leaning against? No, I could see him like walking with it. No, no, no. In a, like in a still photo where he's like he's in his jack. He's got the fin. He's on the helm of the ship. And you said you're designing it. He's leaning against it. You That's what I'm gonna design. draw that. All right, so we have Joshua Clit. Well, I, that that's mine. I wouldn't say I was super on board with Rocket. I I lean towards Leto a little bit more, even surprisingly Ahura, but I seceded in the name of peace. At least we didn't pick and in the a, name of a decision. A white man. True. We, we went completely race neutral. Well, technically we kind of neutral. Yeah. We we kind of did. I mean Bradley Cooper. Bradley, but, I mean, but she. I mean Rocket's not really a. Could have been played by anybody. Yeah. All right, Joshua, closing statements. This is for the game, bro. I don't like that. I mean, think I'm about, not happy. Think about how cool this 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 whole story is. I think this is a dope story. I think with Rocket at the helm, this is crazy. Okay. It's chaotic. Let Joshua give his statement so you can give yours. All right, yeah, sorry. So we determined, all right, well, where we got Rocket ex as an explorer or like a pirate. I think character. he's a pirate explorer scavenger kind of scavenger. Creature. Not scavenger, no. Yeah, like a space scavenger, but like the ultimate one. Because he's got the ultimate one. That I think he's the ultimate like pirate explorer. Traveling through space in his mighty ship. Are we going to just look past the fact that Rocket as a as a character is a scavenger? A yeah. 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 <laughs> So awesome. we're just like, we're changing his behavior? He's getting into every trash can in the whole world. In the whole galaxy. <laughs> in the universe. In the whole universe. He found his way onto that uh, that universe web. With he's his riding it. army of misfits and how many awesome rocket gadgets you can fit into an executor class superstar destroyer. Also, Let's... how many misfits? He's collecting misfits across All the over. universe. Yeah. They're like, they're like applying to get on the ship. Mm -hmm. All right, Joshua. Finish your final statement. My, I don't. I don't got a final statement. I'm, I'm What's your emotion? Here. What's your emotion? I don't like it. He's speechless. I'm speechless, and I don't like <laughs> y'all. He's speechless. I'm not, I don't Wyatt. like it. My final words. I won. I won. <laughs> no, you I think didn't. I won. I won this. I won. Very clear. I won. I don't like it. I won. I, I won. Like Every camera. I won. <laughs> <laughs> no but in all honesty being humble i think there were some hard fought battles i also sandbagged the the weapon one because i was always going to vote for the arrow um and so i i shot down you know every other idea very tactically until i could support the arrow with so i did the same thing joe did just less i did this i did it with my ship as well Let's, yeah, you did. Do let's do a ship. plug in um, this episode. Yeah, well, that means you did it on both episodes, and I did it on one, and I'm the hated. Oh, yours was brutal. And you mean. guys are just saying that I fly under the radar. It was like I like what if, you think is subtle imagine, is not no, so it was subtle. Like imagine if a pizza without sauce or cheese, just bread, not even any seasoning on that thing. Yeah. They've been eating some stale ass bread. <laughs> <laughs> We've cussed thrice in this episode. <laughs> I'm uh, not happy. All of us. That's lit my one final out. statement. I think this is gonna this this would be the funnest ship to live on. 
it's pretty good in is that I mean, your final statement? Dictator shit, yeah. I already gave a, I already gave a statement. My statement is I'm, I'm okay with it. I don't like I don't like that Wyatt's picks are majority. They just slipped in there. How how much did they slip? Did they the slip? thing is we didn't start it as a competition. No. It became For you that. it became one you became one on number one. And it became a f- existing. I'm, I'm sorry that I had fun <laughs> with this competition and picked. It was not a competition. Picked, th- oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry for this game, th- and picked things that right. I enjoy come, and would come love down to see. off of your your high horse and and throw us a few compliments about our picks throughout the episodes. Every pick was fun. Every argument I think was fun. Well, X nay the you know. The backstabbing, but I think all the picks were fun. Good grief! Uh, it's we we got to see so much sci-fi stuff. Yeah, we in did, these we episodes, did. and the season's not even done yet. Season's not even done yet. We still Christmas got sci-fi. We got yeah. We got Christmas, Christmas sci-fi. sci-fi. So um, that's that's. You want to give I us a, a good plug? Time. Yeah, and, and then end this episode. Uh, go check out the Midnight Special on Spotify. And video, can we say that yet? Uh, let's give it another week. Okay, oh. never mind. We don't scratch we don't that. Scratch whatever I said. Yeah, check us out on the social medias, Wise Works Films. You can find all of our stuff and links to everything there. And subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment. Tell us what you would have picked. And if you think I'm a gracious and humble <laughs> winner. <laughs> and. Yeah, you literally leave a like. fist bump. So you're like, yes, <laughs> yes, I won, I won, I won, I won, me. How would you have celebrated? I would have said, <laughs> I'm going to go fun, get a boys. pizza and eat a pizza. You are lying, both of you, through your teeth. I'm going to go to pizza? No, I ain't lying about I know that. You're, I know you're telling the truth. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. if you had won, you'd have been like, woo, <laughs> woo, <laughs> woo. <laughs> And nobody was I'm supposed to win. I'm not happy. Nobody was supposed to win. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> you single-handedly made this a competition, and you keep contradicting yourself to be likable. <laughs> how can we not call it a competition when we're arguing for our picks? We're arguing for what we believe is the best. And the be- I think the best shown through. Can it, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what would be this guy, this ship, this um, no. their theme song? You know, like they're, they're dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, or they're, you're the best around. Or like, dun, 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 uh, dun. What's their theme song? What's Rocket's theme? Well, he's got an arrow. Real quick. Definitely Smooth Criminal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that, actually. Or like, you've been hit by, been hit by a, a smooth, smooth by a smooth criminal. Da, 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 dun, dun. You see Rocket moonwalking on that? <laughs> Put his arrow in his hand. A little arrow. Where he's just going. <laughs> just can his can him. can his raccoon mouth even whistle? See that's he, the he thing. Does, he does this. Oh, oh he, he does. does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. So he's well, I assume if he can create whistle. human words with his mouth. Should be able to whistle. Yeah. All right. Is that the end? Are we at the end? Well, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not happy. And uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. Everybody stay safe when you're traveling and driving. Absolutely. Don't this eat too much af- food. After no, eat too much. Is it? This is after well, Thanksgiving. You're going to be traveling home if some some people. On Monday? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be traveling oh, home. Hope you're Monday. traveling home on Monday. Hope you're traveling home. Enjoy safely. this episode while you're traveling. Yeah, yes. that's a good idea. Just and, don't uh, dri- just don't watch and drive. Fi- and and listen to and no, it's not listen. Just watch. Think of Tom Cruise running. Do it. Yeah. We ought to end every episode with Tom Cruise running. Honestly, that would yeah. be a good end. Yeah, yeah. Um, I figured out the how I'm gonna do the base flavoring of the turkey. Okay, how you doing that? What are you putting in there? There's gonna be some green herbs. Mm-hmm. There's gonna be some Eleven butter herbs and spices. <laughs> But the the base one, it's gonna be lemon peppered. Ooh, Ooh. I love me some lemon. Ew! Pepper. What are you talking about? See, I don't. I'm. I I got this thing. You know where you put pineapple with ham? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not, not a fruit either. with meat type guy. It's not well, lemon actual peppers. lemon. It's 
peppery with a zestiness to it. Oh, I thought you were talking about you squeeze yeah, yeah, some no, lemon. No, no, no. I thought you were talking about lemon. Look, like, I can do that, pepper. but when you pepper. bake it, it doesn't become that you, sweet you have, lemon. You've had like the dry like rub that. lemon pepper wings. I mean, I like some garlic, uh, garlic parmesan wings. But they're kind of like garlic parmesan. Wings. Are you gonna put parmesan on this? No, it's a turkey. Can I have some parmesan? I'm with down that? with the lemon pepper. I'm down with it.